Hello, and welcome back to Persona 4 Dancing. Sorry the stream had to start a little later. Uh, it's called, uh, the funny fellow Adachi decided, hey, your internet? Gone. Immediately. So, yeah. But, I'm here now. Oh, hey, Greenblade. What's up? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm playing a rhythm game now? Mm-hmm. Persona 4 Dancing. Quite fun. Oh, hey, Game Master. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Alright, get the game audio going. There we go. Let's do this. How have you been? I've been pretty good. Gaming, that's about it. And now. All right, so let's, before we start, I hate when the 30-year-old guy cuts off my internet. I know, it sucks. Can't wait to stream P5X. Oh my God. Yeah, Atlas decided, hey, we're going to release a mobile game. I haven't looked at all into it at all. I literally just got the notification last night and I was like, J JB phone revealed. You don't want to see my phone. My phone's absolutely shattered right now. <laughs> I dropped it like a week ago. Anyway, let's go ahead and play. Uh, this is new. You know what? Sure. Let's play a song and then we'll get to the story. Everyone's gazes will be locked on one. I've got high hopes for you. Because I heard if you complete games, like play uh more songs, you unlock more songs. So let's Why is Teddy dressed as Elvis, man? Who let him do that? Why he look like that though? Still wear it, man.
Nice. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, Zach. Oh, per Teddy's person. What are you going to be playing? The hell is that? Dude, Teddy, Teddy's busting down. Brilliant. Not bad. Show off all my adorable charms. Good for you, Teddy. New Velvet Room attendant. Oh yeah, you guys see the new Velvet Room attendant. It was, it's, mm, it is. If you're gonna stream the rhythm game, at least you turn it up and blast it. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> oh yeah, we get a new song. Cut. All right, let's go to the story. Her name is Mirobe. Mirobe. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, you saw? I saw that. I don't want Narukami. Get out of my sight. Ah, oh, never mind. I saw Adachi there. Alright, let's go ahead. I didn't see... Yeah, I haven't seen anything to do with the, um... Persona, um, P5X. I haven't seen anything about it. I don't know. When is it supposed to actually fully release? Because... I want to know. I mean, I, I can look it up, but I'm curious when will it actually release. After you's team left the dressing. So, are we Mr. Zhu, Fluster, Tomoe? Okay, so where are we? Have we already seen this part? Hmm. Some build up on your face. Oh, I don't think we've seen this part yet. Knowing Atlas three years, oh my god, it's a mobile game! Just call it PQ3, alright? Just call it that. Oh, um, I've been here since yesterday, and I couldn't do anything about it, so... I see. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah, that does make sense. There's some weird tension Maybe I here. I was a member of Konami Kitchen, correct? The LMB Festival is right around the corner. So you're the oldest? Wait, how old are you? Huh? Yes. You didn't miss much. We just started. You know, I've heard that exercise is good for the skin. I'll, I'll exercise. Uh, some dance practice. Please allow me right now. Right why? Here. Why? Why are you so like? Uh, like, come on, on calm, calm down, calm down. It's okay. Tomo, uh, Tomo, Tomo, Tomoe. Yeah, that's her name. Still Chie's persona, that's weird. Stood in front of Ojimi Zoo and began dancing desperately. Uh, no, no, you're not getting it at all. Listen to me, Tomoe. You need some real nuance. Some emotion in that dance. Um. A female veteran of the company's lowest department advising the new addition to the group a woman's worth is measured by the number of men she has conquered do you feel her pride her sorrow i don't know it's what year is it 2023 i don't know if that <laughs> whatever oh my god i'm ashamed of myself i didn't understand my routine at all Whatever, you're fine. Oh, shoot. We're oh, they're back at the club. What's up? Oh, hey. What's going on? After ex exiting the dressing room, I took a good look around. <clears throat> All right. There's no signs of any shadows appearing here. I think we're safe to leave me. So, Chimizu and Tomoe there. Uh, glance, to my glance to my side. I noticed Yosuke stretching. Good. Looks like he's managed to get a little rest back there. All right. Then let's meet up with Rise. Whew. Man, I'm really starting to ache here. Oh, sick. We get to meet up with the crew. It's because of you guys that we were able to save Tamami-san and Tomoe-san. Come on, man. Why are you thanking us? We're the investigation team, remember? Saving people in danger is our thing. That is true. You know, you. I was wondering. It's about Mizo Chimizu. Did she seem to you like she was acting kind of strange? Uh, not really. She just seemed like she was... Mizo Chimizu? 
something in my memory f flickered at at his question. I did feel something wrong with Miso Chibisu back there. Is Yosuke talking about how Chibisu got suddenly emotional? I mean, it was strange. Uh, yeah, you think so? Really? Was she? You didn't notice? Was it just me then? I think it was just you. Well, what did you think was strange? Where's the funny cabbage man? He's back there. Oh, wait, there's a lamp. There's a... Who put the lamp there? Ta-da! Funny cabbage man. Now, if you're talking about where he is in game, he's out dan He's watching everybody dance from afar. Because he's 100% the murderer. I noticed something, too. She became pretty emotional, didn't she? Yeah. Right when the topic of that idol Yuko came up. It's only a hunch right now, but... Maybe Yuko is her daughter! Nah. That tells me there's something she's not telling us. But what? I don't know. I agree with them. With most of Yosuke's opinions. We don't know what, but Mr. Chibizu is definitely hiding something from us. It's most likely something to do with Yuko Asuda. Asuda? Alright, but... Well, oh, here I don't comes know the music. Yet. That's actually why I thought I'd bring it up. What do you think of it all? I mean, including the whole Yuko Asada thing. I sounds like just a bad case of. Die. You mean whether or not this Yuko son is the culprit? Yuko, wait, what? But she's Let's dead. Just stay away from that possibility. Come on, guys! You've been through this a couple of times. Obviously, the murderer is Adachi. Or it's somebody on the inside. It could be... It's Nanako. You know what? It's Nanako. Hey, don't forget. The LMB website's rumor was about the curse of the dead idol in the first place. And what with these messages, which read almost like suicide notes, it does point to Yuko Osada causing this incident. Longing for bonds she couldn't have before. So how do we defeat a ghost? With our dance moves? I mean, we can... We also, tried. she was with Takuro Productions, and Kanemine Kitchen is performing her song at the LMB. Man, G Ghostbusters would be a completely different game if they just danced, or show if they just danced. Huh? There are a lot of connections, but that voice seemed to know a lot of close personal information about Tamami-san and Tomoe-san. It's hard to imagine that Yuko-san would know that much about them. That is true. Yeah, exactly! Yuko-san wasn't the culprit. I mean, it's... Okay. Huh. You've got a point there. Tomomin didn't know much about Yuko-san. And it seemed... Besides, Kanamine Kitchen hasn't been around for that long. That's true. When you think about it, there's no way Yuko-san could have known them. As I thought, knowing Yosuke, I'm sure info on Konami's kitchen is accurate. And if that's the case, it's hard to think that the voice of Yuko-san, but that means... Ah, crap. It looks like we're back at square one. If the author of those notes is really Yuko-san, like Tomoe-san suggested, then we can assume the culprit also knows about Yuko-san. So it's someone who's related to Takura Productions, who knows Tomoe-chan and Tomami-chan very well. That sounds a hell of a lot like Ochimizu. And also knows about Yuko-san. Do we know anyone who might fit all of that? Ochimizu. Hey, who said it's limited to people we know? Huh? But then... We're out of luck. Why don't we meet with Risei-chan? It's always better to have more heads to think with. That's true. Oh, yeah. And they've got Naoto-kun with them. With the real detective and our leader together, there's no mystery we can't solve. <laughs> Fair. How did the pyramids of Egypt get come, up, come about? Uh, I guess that's one thing we can't do. Uh, why are you the one bragging? Hold on. There might be a few more other than Ochimizu. Like... Owada, but I, I'm thinking it might be Owada, but I don't know why. <laughs> I'll try my best. Let's head to the rendezvous point then. Oh, I ah, shake it. Suddenly, jeez. Oh, Suddenly, we felt a shock. At first, I thought that that an enemy was attacking, but it seemed like something else entirely. This is. Whoa! What? What the? An earthquake. An. What? This is not a good sign. Something might have happened to the other group. Let's hurry. Keep in mind the red herring from P4. No way. 
We play as two separate. <laughs> what? So the story splits off from here and it takes the Yunarokami route. That's cool. That's pretty cool. You gotta play it all over again. Hey, but we get to play with as Risei, Kanji, Naoto, and Teddy. So I'll, I'll take it. I'm sure as hell I'll take it. Why not? All right. Let's go ahead and proceed. Now I'm excited because we get to see their perspective. A little while after we split from Senpai and the others, I notice our surroundings begin to change. Oh, so now we're uh, now we're playing as a So now we're in Risei's mind. What is this? It's like an amusement park with some sort of theme to it. It reminds me of the stage that was prepared for me when I got pulled into this world. Uh Ah, there's Teddy. What is this place? It's and a cute, like from a fairy tale or something. That uh, don't yeah. let your guard down, Kanji Kun. There's no telling when the enemy will attack. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <sighs> what? <sighs> well, why are you guys like? <sighs> uh, everything okay with you two? You're awfully quiet. Are you not feeling well? Aw, now, Chan, you're all lonely because you're not with Sensei, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Teddy will stay at your side forever and ever. I. That's not the case. <laughs> yeah, same here. <coughs> Wait, did you just ignore me, Ted? What the hell did you put that on? Sorry. God, I forget. I I just saw Teddy and I'm like, oh, I get it. Come on, Kanji now to Come on, Kanji now to kun We want to prove to our senpais that we can handle this thing on our own, right? Aside from that, I thought I didn't notice that Teddy put a fur back on until Kanji mentioned it. Wait, what's with that outfit? A white jumpsuit, a gaunt Gaudy belt and what do they call the dangly things? Oh uh, yeah, frings fr hanging from what? On top of that, he's got the kuma printed across his chest. Uh, that seems like just a normal teddy fit. That's definitely not the costume in Noe San. In Noe uh, San, prepared for him. A Noe. I, that's who I think oh, the murderer is. I see. When Yosuke's not around, Kanji keeps us in check. Oof! Does that mean Kanji's checking me out right now? Is my innocence in danger? No, I'm not. And enough of that crap. It's getting real old, damn it. Oh, okay. Okay, Vince. Vincent. Come on. How long are you two going to mess around? It just. Well, I, I wouldn't call it loneliness. Precisely. Don't we have somebody to save or it whatnot? Feel awkward without senpai. Precarious, if you will. You guys don't need me. Come on, man. Yeah, no kidding. We said all that earlier, but it's because of them that we're all together in the first place. Fair. It just doesn't feel right. Not here in the usual kanji or calm down. <laughs> this is a very serious situation indeed. Without Sensei to protect me, I'll be bombarded from all sides with harsh criticism. Dude, just don't stir up any shit. That's... All right, that's enough. Come on, guys. We need to keep our spirits up. Yeah, listen to Risei. Did you forget what we discussed? That we wanted to grow into a team our senpai would be proud of? Risei, baddie. Mm. Something's you know, off with Risei here, here though. This a perfect opportunity. Let's work together and impress everyone. Okay. I put a lot of energy into my words, trying to rally the downcast to... Wait, what? If we're going to fight by dancing, we can't go mo moping around. It will affect our performance for sure. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried, but you have to be positive, or you're just setting yourself up to fail. Risei-san is right. This is well within our power. Yeah, Nato-kun, totally. Although, our team could be better coordinated if we had a decision maker. I suggest we come to a consensus on who should assume that role. Ah, uh, Kanji, next question. You mean choose a leader? I'm fine either way. A substitute sensei, huh? Okay, I nominate myself. That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Go team! Teddy wants you! Yahoo! 
Well, in a matter of speaking. To be clear, I'm declining the position. I tend to prefer the role of advisor. <laughs> Sounds like Teddy wins by default. Well, hey, hold it. There's no friggin' way that's gonna work. <laughs> Wanna do it then, Kanji? Huh? Well, if that's what you guys want, I guess I can give it a shot. Yeah, Kanji. This one actually reacts. <laughs> what? At two, Kanji? My empire was destroyed in a day. What empire? You ain't the leader yet. Great, Kanji and Teddy are arguing over nothing again. <laughs> Seems pretty good. It's nice that they get along, but we've got more important stuff to worry about. I don't care who. Just hurry up and decide. Ugh, you're both acting like kids. That's it, Ted. You asked for it. You and me, right now, dance battle. I'm gonna crush you. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do it. Let's do it. I wanna, I wanna see it. I wanna see it. Challenge accepted. Prepare yourself for the ultimate in break dancing. Do. Oh no, God damn. Just then, I sense something change in the atmosphere. Instantly, I'm on my toes. Natoku notices too. She warns Kanji and Teddy, interrupting their Hold argument. Hold on, you two. I felt something. <laughs> you sure are funny. Welcome to the midnight stage, featuring Sumomo Ujima. Sumomo? There you are! Wait, Sumomo's up ahead? <laughs> That's what I said. It's almost Have we danced today already? We did it at the very beginning. We played a little bit of songs, but now we're she at the story. I forget who Sumomo is. Is she the small one? She's the small girl, uh, right? I already heard about you, but damn, you're one grade A dumbass. I love Kaji. Kaji's so cool. You kidnapped her and you're saying she's lucky? You got a beat down coming, punk, so get your ass over here! <laughs> I'm glad to see you're full of energy. But let me remind you of one important thing. Huh? The hell are you talking about? Kanji kun. In this world, no one hurts or gets hurt. I already confirmed that rule for myself. To physically assault someone here would be impossible. I, I, you just haven't tried hard enough. Kanji hits hard. Stupid rules. Here you can say goodbye to all your pain and suffering and connect with everyone. <laughs> Sumama will be so happy. Look how many have gathered just for her. Where? 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 Oh, God. Wait, so who's gonna bust down first? Well, there's the bad guys. All of a sudden, something like black mist flows out from the darkness around us and solidifies into countless shadows. They're all connected by ribbons, just like the one we saw when we were pulled into the world yesterday. Ah! Shadow alert! Shadow alert! Have you seen him use primal force? Rules, he's not. <laughs> he's game breaking. That's true. They are tied together by those weird ribbony thingies. <laughs> You'll understand soon enough. Come on, just connect with us. Literally, Kanji's primal force is stronger than a morning star. I guarantee you. I've seen primal force do over 1,200 damage. Oh, that stupid music! Ah! Ow! This song. This song is so ass. It hurts. <laughs> This. I don't feel so good. Uh oh, who's gonna dance first? Oh, I'm getting all wobbly. Again, just like yesterday, as the eerie song gets louder and the shadows dance, I start feeling drained, like my will getting weaker and weaker. This isn't good. I pull myself together and look around and see if you guys are okay. Careful! If you're caught in those ribbons, they'll start affecting your mind. Hang in there, everyone! Don't let them get the upper hand. Their so-called bond is a joke. We need to make them realize that. <laughs> I hear you. Why should I be all buddy buddy with them when I'm only getting tied down? Hey, Rise, give me my homework song. Ooh. I'll show them what's up. Oh, we're doing Kanji songs. Huh? You're going to dance? Why are you surprised by that? I was kind of surprised. I mean, it's not that I don't trust Kanji, but I never thought he would be so hyped about it. Wow, Kanji, you can really, you can be really reliable sometimes. What? That's no fair. 
This is where I'm supposed to step in. Doc, Teddy, get out. Watch and learn, Ted. You're about to see Kanji Tatsumi bring down the house with a man's dance. A man's dance. Don't hold anything back, as if you ever did. It might actually be perfect for the first round. Yeah, he never okay. held anything back. I'll play your song, so you better give it everything you got. Damn straight. All right then, hit it. All right, boys. Let's see what Kanji's gonna play. All right. Let's get it started now. All right, here we go. I'll show you how a man does this. Let's stay focused. Hell yeah! It's the wrong road. I've never heard this. Of what? Oh, it's this song. Not bad. Okay, uh, he's got that. Dot. What is he gonna do? Oh! Brilliant. Nice. No complaints, right? <laughs> that was pretty good. All your practice showed, Kanji Kun. That was a really good song. I forgot that song exists. <laughs> good shit, not uh, Kanji. Kanji's pretty good. Kanji. That was like a normal. That was on normal. Cause that was pretty difficult. Kanji's dance brings the shadows to their senses. That fades into sparkling lights. That's gonna go back to whatever they came from. As I watch this uh, spectacle. Spectacle, I somehow more convinced that the shadows here were bonded to this place by that weird sound. Song. Damn, this is awesome. I know. 
Oh, but you were quite impressive yourself, Kanji. Yeah, you better. That was cool. Uh -huh. That's almost as good as Narukami and Adachi. Good job. You kind of freestyled a bit here and there, but it was very you. I have to say, that was an amazing performance. Not bad, Kanji. You think so? I mean, of course. <laughs> What'd you expect from me, huh? <laughs> well done. The shadows were going wild to see you dance. Kanji's face goes bright red from all the compliments. <laughs> Silly Kanji. I was genuinely impressed, though. His moves felt totally natural compared to how he was during practice. Still kind of rough, but not bad at all. Then, as if rem remembering something, Kanji suddenly pokers face. Hey, this still kind of bothers me. I just dance and work on the shadows. That... It's fair, actually. Kanji-kun, don't tell me you just dance without understanding why. What? Well, of course I understand. You know, it's all that, uh, stuff, right? Like, like, like Risei said. Yeah. Dance ain't about thinking too much, but more like, uh, letting yourself out. Yeah? Yeah. Our guess was that in the world, it's some somehow easier to convey their feelings to, to others, whether human or shadows. That's why our dance can be, can influence our audience so much. As proof, my senses are way more sharpened than usual. And even in this big world, I can easily tell where Senpai is. Of course, I get a better reading if I called my persona, but it's kind of incredible how I could do that and communicate with others all on my own. I could even broadcast our song to all the shadows at once. My persona provides backup by connecting my mind to the others, so it must be spe uh, especially affected by this one. Well, can't complain since it's helping us deal with the situation. But besides that, what Kanji said caught me completely off guard. He remembered what I told him before. You were actually listening? I'm kind of surprised, Kanji. Well, what I'm trying to say is... I did put my feelings into it. You know, like saying, this is who I am. Yeah. But the fact that the shadows actually got that? I don't know, man. Shit's weird. Yeah. I mean... How's that possible? I, I don't. You do have a point. I, I don't know. Don't ask me, man. I just no here, how I'm just here to dance. To express something, it's useless if our audience is incapable of understanding it. Which may mean these shadows have emotions just like us, and recognize ours as well. I bet those shadows didn't get it at first. They were just dancing to that creepy song. Feeling okay about it because they were doing it in a big crowd. But then they saw Kanji getting down and they were like, Ooh, that guy's got the groove. Forget this, I'm going over there. I see. That it may well be so. That actually sounds like it. Case closed. All right, because that's what we're taking. I'm not sure I get what Teddy's trying to say, so Shadows can understand and accept what we express through dancing. That is no problem. In any case, we got our message across. Doesn't that make you feel good? Being accepted by someone, people or shadows, it's the best feeling. Yeah. As everyone nods, I feel a sudden relief. We could definitely move ahead as a team. We're not gonna lose to you, Senpai. Okay, let's take a quick break and get going. That boy said Sumomo was up ahead. Yeah, I'm ready to beat the shit out of. Wait, we can't. Uh, dance some sense into those shadows. <laughs> We're gonna dance some sense into you. <laughs> Just make her the leader? Yeah, we're totally outclassed. Huh? Um, you guys say something? Huh? What'd you guys say? It's nothing, leader. Please, show us the way. Me, the leader? Oh, well, let's go. Wow. Okay, <laughs> all right. Just gonna accept it just like that. I would prefer Kanji to be the leader, I'll be honest. I mean, I like Kanji. Somehow I ended up as the leader. <laughs> With that settled, I guess, we started walking down that path. Didn't Kanji and Teddy both want to be the little team leader? They felt kind of different from the ones we fought before. I wonder why. Oh well, no time to worry about stuff like that. I've got some sweet ladies to rescue. Yep, that's Teddy. Roar! I'm coming for you right now, my precious idols. That's Teddy. All right, let's see where we're at. We are now. Oh, we're in the same area. Following my heightened sense, we searched the area for Sumomo. Sumomo. I can tell we're getting very close. As I'm thinking that, Teddy pauses in his, in, pauses in his, his sniffing and points up. Oh, cutie ahoy! Could that be? That's Sumomo! Hey, Sumomo! 
Oh, it is the small girl. You look like you're... Missy Senpai and Nachon! Oh, thank goodness. I was all torn up worrying about y'all. Ah, I see. So you're one of them. <laughs> Jeez, I was the one worried. I'm so glad you're safe. Woohoohoo! It's the adorable piglet Momo-chan right here in front of me. Can you speak again? I want to make fun of your I voice. Hang on. I haven't a single Konamin Kitchen appearance on TV. But, eh, something's different. It's her manner of speech. She sounds like a different person altogether than when I met her. Why do you have a southern... <laughs> yeah. All right, Teddy's only seen Simomu in TV. Now, 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 uh, now Tokun and Senpai met her in person. That's more of a business thing. I laughed dryly, attempted to explain the situation. I guess that is surprising, huh? Sumomo actually grew up deep in the country, so this is how she really is. Ah. She doesn't mind bugs at all, and she does a ton of farm work at home. She's a lot tougher than she looks. No way! Ah. She Momo Chan, the sweetheart of teenage boys everywhere. It was all an act. She looks nine years old. Everything I know is a lie. I was thoroughly fooled too. Could you speak huh? again? What? No big deal. Mizu Chimizu done worked my tail off after all. I'm guessing you were hoping I'd be the sweet little sister type. <laughs> Mizu Chimizu do work my tail off after. I guess you were hoping that a sweet little sister. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Cool Atlas, thanks what? for doing no. that. Can I? You know, like an adorable little kid you just want to look after. Small and cute. But you can only go so far with that. So how old are you? You look nine years old. Listen. I've been thinking maybe I ought to try doing something else. Even if it's a tiny bit at a time. Look at the, the text. Doing something else. Oh, God. What? What do you want? Oh, God. What is your shadow going to be? It was so sudden there was no sign of anyone else around us and it approached us. And yet the voice rings out as if they're a speaker and have been watching us the whole time. <laughs> Who do we have here? Sorry, but you're too late. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Simone can't get out of here, so why hurry? Simone, do you want to leave this world? Do you really want to upset your fans? I... I can't get past that accent, bro. My fans! <laughs> That's right. Everyone wants the you they know as a helpless, adorable little child. You know, here's something funny. In any show, anywhere, they, whenever they have a southern character, they give it a southern accent. But if you actually live down here, where I live, I live in Texas, right? You, it is really hard to find really heavy, like really, really heavy southern accents down there. You can find them. But they're usually on an act. They're doing it as an act. But a lot of people just have very light. It's very rare to find somebody with a true, heavy southern accent. Oh, they feel so betrayed if they saw but you, you can find them. Uh, I ain't betrayed anyone. I've worked dang hard up till now. Morgana? <laughs> Mor Mor Morgana? Yes, really Mor Mor hang on. Morgana? But it's still not enough. You need to become the Sumomo that everyone wishes for. Yeah, I gotta look this up real quick. Oh, well. Oh God! All right, who's Dex? Who's dancing next? All right, hang on. I need to see because this guy, this girl, sounds like Morgana. I started to pick a reading in front of us. Sure enough, it's a big mass of shadows. The voice started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so basically the shadows are back and we got to deal with them. Let me see if I can find if this person ever performs anything. It's those out of character shadows trying to kidnap Momo-chan, huh? That is Morgana. That is Morgana. Well, forget that. That is Morgana. You're telling me the heavy accents are a stereotype that are most... At most times, it's area? Who would have guessed? I know! <laughs> you ain't gonna have it your way as long as we're here. <laughs> ain't that crazy? Oh, you really are energetic. Wait. You know Wait, Morgana. So 
keep your mouth shut. Hang on, Morgana with a southern accent. Ugh. You have no idea just how much <laughs> Lady on! I'm more annoying! What are you talking about? You can't do a southern accent, but... Connect with us, and everything will work out. No one will get hurt. No one will have to suffer. Now, accept our bond. Oh shit, here comes the shitty music again. Alright, the eerie song gets louder and the shadows begin dancing. I can feel the urge to join them invading. Okay, yeah. Uh, what? Ah, stop this song! It makes my fur stand on end. No matter how many times I hear this, it never gets any better. Call this freaky shit a bun? Get the hell out of here! <laughs> All right, who's dancing next? Oh. Teddy? Research on if you would be so kind. The bear of the hour needs your finest song. Leave it to Teddy! What's up, Ted? Itching to get on the floor after seeing me dance? I'm going to show you who's the man. Woof. Teddy Woof. is in the house. No, 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 no. Teddy, uh, June paid the man. June paid the man. Heh, <laughs> is that so, Teddy? I hold back the urge to laugh, but the smirk on his face isn't exactly idle like. Alright. Gotcha. Teddy, I'm giving you the coolest tune I've got, so do your absolute best. Alright. Now drop that bridge! Alright, let's do this shit. Let's get it started now. This'll be a piece of cake. Easy as pie. Yeah, Teddy! Remember the lesson and go for it! I love this song. Me. There. Okay. Yeah. What's 
you by our sponsor, Prince Teddy. Oh. <laughs> I love I love that song. That is my one of my favorite songs to come out of this game. Brilliant. I nice. Show off all my adorable charms. Good one, Teddy. You're really shining today. How was Teddy even dancing his bear? It seems pretty hard to move around. I have no How did they how did they animate that or motion capture that? Did they recreate a Teddy out? You know what? Maybe something like that. Love that song. That's a good song. And there they all go. Teddy's wacky movement. It's a must have uh, captivated the da da da. Um, Teddy, that was totally different from what I taught you. It looked. It did look fun though, so I decided to keep quiet for now. Let, yeah! let Teddy have some fun. I bet they felt that. Teddy's debut performance was a smash hit. You guys are amazing. Oh, what is this? I'm getting goosebumps all over. Uh. Oh, <laughs> why her eyes look so dead? Hey, what are you saying? I'm still head over heels with Momo Chan. That's not. My heart is right with her. Are you sure about that? What? Mm -hmm. Mr. Momo, are you that confident in your true self? You're tr yeah. You think everyone will still love you? Apart from being cute, you have no redeeming features. You're just a doll who can't do anything on your own. <laughs> Apart from being cute, you have no redeeming features. Nothing. Zero. <laughs> that is so mean. Without that cuteness, you'd have nothing left. Again, that voice was clearly trying to shake Sumomu. Has it hurt her feelings enough already? Uh, no, I, I want to be. Oh. Ah! Oh shit, she got taken. This Sumomo. is a problem. Sumomo-san. Why didn't you bring the rest of them? You such a party pooper. <laughs> it literally happened in the blink of an eye. Countless ribbons lash out of, out of nowhere and capture. Yep. It was all so fast that even though we were right next to Sumomo-san, none of us could react in time. Momo-chan's been taken! Oh no! Damn it! What the hell? Mind games. The instant she showed her weakness in her heart, she fell for that voice's trap. Come on! We gotta chase after Sumomo! Let's move! Alright, let's see what her dungeon looks like, or her main area. Chasing after Sumomo's signal, we reach an area with a f uh, fan fantasy world feel, like we ended up inside a toy box. And up ahead, where Sumomo's son reading is... Wait, what are we... Oh, we're in like a dollhouse. Well, if she's like... How tall is she? Like this tall? She looks like she's like... Whoa! Four foot eight. What in the what? But she also looks like she's nine years old, so... Oversized dollhouse. This is quite an unsettling picture. I don't know. This looks pretty. It looks uh, like is th this looks like your basic Terraria world, right? Hey, look. That's. She's as tall as a dot. Yeah, she's as tall as you, Adachi. Thank you, JB. Yeah, I agree with you. Wait, <laughs> I don't need to look where Kanji's pointing. My enhanced sense is already zeroing in on Sunu. Wow. Okay, Rise. I can see someone frantically pleading with someone. I thought I could detect any presence besides her. All right. Now, hello, Sumo. No, uh, I got a lot of things that I want to do. Like what? But you can't, Sumo. Don't tell me you forgot. Remember what you were told when you left the countryside? You mustn't be selfish. S selfish? What? <laughs> That's right. You shouldn't cause people trouble. You need to meet people's expectations. You were always told that. You know you're an unsophisticated hillbilly. You have nothing outstanding. No looks, no personality. <laughs> this game is brutal. <laughs> you're just an uh, unsophisticated hillbilly. You have nothing outstanding. No looks, no personality. But you want to make everyone back home happy. 
You said so yourself, Sigurdon. That is so mean. How disappointed would they be if they found out you ignored your friends and ended up with everything I had? How? Do you know that? About me? About my folks? Hey, how you doing? Sumomo-san! Mama-chan! What are you gonna do? Don't say it. I can't bear to watch anymore. We rush to Sumomo. Determined to protect her! But she looks at us with terrified eyes. No, we're too late. She's already scared beyond well, reason. Sumomo, I'll let you hear everyone's voices. Alright, let's hear what their voices have to say. Sumomine is so cute! She's perfect as the group's little kid. She's so adorable. I don't even care that it's an act. What's this voice? Where is it coming from? I don't know. But is he talking about Momo-chan? Uh, she just needs to be cute, and that's all. Heck, I'd be weirded out if she tried something different. Uh. Sumo-mean doesn't have to do anything. I'm kind of a fan of how she's this helpless little kid, you know? She's been acting like she's thinking about her future lately, but all I can see her as is a sweet little girl. Uh... <laughs> oh, she's gonna start crying. Sumo, all you have to do is be what everyone wants you to be. The real you is nothing but a burden. Carrying it around will only bring you pain and suffering. The voices echo as if delivering the Coupe, Coupe de Grasse to the whatever, Coupe de Grasse, whatever. My own heart aches in sympathy, being told someone like that. Yeah. Uh, see, I, I just had to toss it away. Oh, shit, she got up. This is a problem. Whoa. Why can't we just okay? cut them, you know, snip, snip? Sumomo, we're here to save you. Ah. No. It's all right. How to make folks happy. Oh god, what is she turning into? Oh, just a giant doll. Man, mm, Persona Q. Isn't that the final boss of Persona Q? Black Mish watches the mobile covering in ribbons and begins spreading out rapidly. It emerges from it as a giant doll. Cute clothes, glittering accessories, and made it mobile. Oh this god. Is Momo -san. Her identity is being dominated by their wants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so nice. I can feel your love for me, everyone. Uh... Just had to get rid of my feelings. That's all there was to it. Now, I can connect with everybody. I'm nobody if I'm not loved. I have to meet everybody's expectations, or else I'm totally worthless. Hmm, Morgana. All right. I turn at the sudden sound of unearthing shearing behind us and see an empty she's getting packed with shadows. So this is a stage that the shadows wanna want for Samomo. No, you're wrong. You're Samomo. wrong. You'll ignore your feelings and just do what you're told? You think your real fans are gonna appreciate that? Don't run from it. Don't give up. We're idols. We need to stand our ground. <laughs> I'm right with you on that. Kanji! Hey Tiny! Uh, Sumomo, right? Why don't you take a cue from your senior here? I know it's hard to live up to people's expectations, and I know it gets tough. But listen, damn it! Yeah, listen to the Kanji. It's right to be pretending to be something you ain't. You gotta find a way forward, even if you're scared. Yeah, that's the Kanji way. Kanji's right. If you throw away your real feelings, then sooner or later you won't be able to tell who you are. That would be just too sad. Take it from Teddy, man. I'm glad to have Kanji and Teddy backing me up, but I'm definitely not prepared for what ha to yes. hear next. And that's exactly why we cannot accept this. Rise-san, I ask that you prepare my song. Uh, oh, sure not the Otto's dancing. Huh? You're gonna dance? Why are you so surprised? I may not be as skilled as you all when it comes to dancing. In fact, one might say I have trouble expressing myself in general. No, oh, you're fine, Alto. You got this. That doesn't mean I don't have a self to express. Please leave this to me. All right, what song are we playing? Hearing the resolution in Naruto's kun's words, the three of us look at each other and smile. All right, if Naruto kun that determined, then let's see okay. it. Okay, you've been practicing so hard. I, I'm ready when you are, so just say. Well, guess I'll let you take this one. Get him, Naruto. Naruto. All right, break a leg. Sumomo-san, 
I'll show you what it's like to have your true self understood. Let the music play. All right, here we go. Let's see what song Naruto is going to play. Okay, here we go. All right, what are we doing? Just endure this a little longer, Samomo-san. I want you to light up this stage. It's this song. I remember this song. This song's good too. Do this. Good. Huh. Not bad. Oh, what is her gonna do? I forget what her persona is called. And of course, that's what it would be doing. Not that's too shabby. Will be even better. I like that song. Wait, that's time? easy? That was on easy. Normal must be brutal for that song. Well, that was a good song. I like it. That's like sec third favorite song, I think. It's in the top five. Did I get through? Did you get through? Threats out in distress. Maybe it could be easy, just me, but whoever someone... Wait, what? But if you did that, you would... One, Sumomo is right now a monster. Forgetting... Wait, what? Please, Sumomo, you have to understand. You felt Naltokun's dance. We can't just let go. We've got to try hard so people will understand and accept us. As if responding to my mental outburst, the monster swells up and explodes. And there it goes. Hello. Oh. Hello, Sumomo. Sumomo. Sumomo-chan! Sumomo! I was so wrong. I'm hopeless. You're hopeless. Oh, don't be stupid. <laughs> don't be stupid! You're safe now. Just give it another shot. 
or however many it takes. That's right. I'm sure everyone back home is cheering for you, working hard. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Guess I haven't grown a single bit. See, my hometown's out in the boonies. Only one bus every three hours, and my school only had eight students. Eight students? So when I passed the audition, well, the whole dang town came out and congratulated me. They all really believed in me and told me that I ought to listen to the people here. I wanted to make them happy. So I told myself I'ma do anything that'll sell the group. But... Mini Inaba. All it is, oh, uh, super small Inaba. I mean, it's important to sell in Hall, but if I wanted people to real, I'd have to work on my own dang charm and share that with everyone, yeah? So Momo's words bring smiles for all of us, and we all not exaggerating. Thank goodness our message got through to her. <laughs> You're dang, uh, damn right. Well, it ain't a bad thing to want to make folks proud, but... Why would he correct, you know, whatever? If you to throw yourself away to do it, then how? Might as well have someone else do it. That's what do you do? Simple. Just live up to their expectations in your own way. All right, my mind's made up. First thing when I get back, I'm gonna go talk to the agency. Maybe I ain't that cute. And maybe I'm a runt, but I'll sure find something I'm better at than anybody. Then, when I'm ready, I'll start showing folks who I really am. I mean, I, I... So they'll eventually like the entire me. I think that's great. But, um, the agency might have a tough time figuring out how to promote you. What? Rizzy Senpai, ain't you gonna help me out? Oh, you gotta do something like come on a show with me together, please? Ah, uh, Samomo, you got your snot on my outfit. C come on, you're ditching a little too much cuteness. You're still an idol. A and why are you still calling me that when you don't have to be all cutesy anymore? What are you supposed to say, Rizzy? The door! Another door, all right. I wonder what a country voice sounds like in the Japanese dub. Yeah, that actually is. Does it sound? What is I'd have this? to look that up. It seems to be a door. I can't be certain where it leads to, though. Hold on, I'll check. First. Hmm, looks safe inside. I'm not sensing any shadows behind the door. Hey, wait a second. This is the door to our studio's dressing room. At Takara Productions? It does seem vaguely familiar. It's definitely it. I'm sure of it. I Well, how about we go in? Beats just standing around talking about it. That's true. Alright, and... <laughs> Teddy's walk cycle. Oh, it looks exactly the same. I go through the door, confirming the total, confirming the total lack of shadows on the other side. What is this place? It's popped up all of a sudden. So there's got to be a reason it's here. At least I think so. It does seem safe here. <clears throat> I detect no signs of an ambush either. It is a bit different, but yeah, this is our agency's dressing room. How in the world could it be here, though? Huh? I don't hear that spooky song in here. The hell is this place? Feels like a totally different world than outside. I don't know. Is there a purpose to this, or is it mere coincidence? What? We stand pondering the situation as Momo walks past the, us to the room, to the makeup station. Suddenly, she cries out. You know, the fact that she's walking ahead of us, even after all that, really shows how fearless she is. Oh, it's the... What, what in tarnation is this? Something's written here, and it's downright creepy. What in tarnation? <laughs> it looks like some kind of note. What's the... It's a note stuck to the mirror of the makeup station. I get creeped out and take a step back, but Naoto-kun takes a closer look and started reading it aloud. Naoto-kun forgets how easy she gets frightened when she's dealing with the kind of things. It's pretty amazing. I know what I want my songs to express. But everything important will go unsung. It's my fault. She has done nothing wrong. But she... 
What is this? Feels like a diary entry of some sort. That's strange. Dude wants to say something, but can't? And everybody's bagging on some girl, but she's actually covering up for the dude. Guess he feels bad about it. Huh? Uh, what gifts? What? Kanji-kun is using deduction. Huh? What? It's amazing how humans grow. Oh my I god, Kanji! Kanji would use his brain. Kanji's using his brain? I can barely contain myself. I'm so happy for you, Kanji. I can't help but nod proudly, and everyone, even Samomusun, follows suit. Of course, his detection wasn't as refined as Naoto Kun's or Senpai's. But knowing that Kanji was, was seriously trying to figure out this case made me happy. What the hell do you mean by that? Ugh, what a racket. Even in a place like this, you're squabbling and fighting like children in a playground? <sighs> Honestly, can't you be more civilized? Oh, look, it's Miss Ochimizu. Oh, how is Kanji gonna react to Miss Ochimizu? Uh, Miss Ochimizu? Huh? Wait, really? Can't believe my eyes. Standing at the door and cutting off our conversation with a cold retort is Miss Ochimizu. Uh huh? But didn't you get snatched up by that ribbon stuff? That's correct. It was, well, surreal to say the least. But when I came to, I was lying on the ground. So I walked here as I assessed the situation. I'm sorry, but. You walked here? Did you not come across any sh- uh, <clears throat> Anybody suspicious along the way? Yes, I did, but they didn't do anything. They just vanished into thin air the moment they saw me. That's a bit strange. I was surprised at first, but if that's how they are, then there's not much point in dwelling on it, is there? What? How they are? Th that's it? <clears throat> um, excuse me, but despite the odd situation, you don't seem terribly surprised. I know, it seems weird. Why is that? It's a waste of time and energy. Standing around in shock won't accomplish anything, will But it? that's not... That is true, but... That seems a bit... Yeah, but that's Mr. Chibisu, all right. Called uncomfortable. Yeah, but like, I could shake it up in a weird... Si yeah, You're it's a really weird situation. Think. Taking everything into account, it's fairly obvious that something supernatural is going on here. But as of now, I doubt that my actions will bring about any positive change. So why even panic? You, on the other hand, look to have far more experience in this field than I. You instantly reacted to the situation when Konami was about to be dragged in. I'm assuming you've come here to save Sumomo and the other- Well, uh, yeah. Then you have my gratitude. Thank you. This is strange. At the very least, Sumomo is safe thanks to you. Huh? Seeing Miss Ochimizu bow her head so low startled me. I mean, she is a very professional person, but I've never been thanked by her so formally. Uh, Miss Ochimizu, uh, please stop that. I mean, we only... You only what? Only did what was natural? Then it's... Never mind. <laughs> In an instant, she's back to her usual condescending self. What's wrong with you? Can't tell if you're really grateful or not. You have an opinion on the matter? No, damn it! Ugh. You're a major pain in the ass, you know that? Uh oh, Kaji's upset. Just get on with the conversation already. So, Miss Ochimizu, why are you here? You seem like a rational person. I think you came to us for a reason. As a matter of fact, yes. I'll get right to the point. If you're going ahead, leave Sumomo here. You clearly aren't phased by incidents like these. But it's not anything Sumomo and I are used to. Yeah. If we were to stick together, you would have to constantly worry about Sumomo. I need you to save all four of the girls. Any potential unnecessary issues should be avoided to ensure success. I'm just surprised she knows. Wait, how can Ochimizu be both on the other team and one at the same? That's what I was about to say. How are they both at the same place at the Moreover, same time? Sumomo doesn't appear to have the energy to go with you. <laughs> How'd she look sad? What? I turned to Sumomo and realized that Missy Chibichu's right. She looks really pale. We messed up. We took the situation for granted, but we thought we were being considerate of Sumomu, but we totally missed how exhausted she was. I guess Mr. Uh, Chibisu was paying much closer attention to Sumomu. Whoa, we Momo chan you look pale. Uh, are you all right? Yeah. I, I just got a pretty fierce dizzy spell. She's in no condition to travel, whether she goes with us or not. Sumomu san needs some rest. Yeah, you're right. I don't 
don't sense any shadows around here, so it's probably safer to stay in this room than go anywhere. And I gotta admit, if we all move on, I don't think we can handle the shadows while protecting Sumomo. That is true. But, 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 but is it really okay to leave Momo-chan here all by herself? He's right. I see Sumomo no reason why not. If she were left here alone. Alone? No, I'll stay with her. Did you forget? The mob outside won't attack me. And even in case they do, two of us will have a higher chance of survival than just her alone. That... Yeah. Mr. Chimizu proposes makes sense, but we can't bring ourselves to just agree. We look at each other unnecessarily. No, this isn't right. At a time like this, you, Senpai, always made the decision for the group. This time, we need to make the decision ourselves. Plus, I'm somehow the team leader all right now. Okay, but please, don't do anything risky. You should be safe as long as you stay quiet in this room. Understood. Did you hear her, Samomo? Yes, ma'am. Go whenever you're ready. I wish you luck. All right, guys. Let me contact Senpai before we leave. I want to see how they're doing. It'll only take a moment, so everybody take a breather, okay? All right, let's see what Narukami's doing. I distanced myself from the others so I could concentrate and contact Senpai. I take a quick glance at everyone else, but it looks like they're just taking the opportunity to chat and relax. Mr. Chimisu just sitting at the makeup station staring blankly at the note. Hey, I still don't have a handle on her, but... You think that Ochimizu lady ain't as bad as we thought? Kanji-kun, she's still in earshot. Ah, oh, she's reading the note. <sighs> uh, we're not gonna hear from you, Narukami's team? Oh, I got an achievement. What? Alright, cool. As Risei T left the dressing room, Somoza uncomfortably sets and watches Ochimizu and paces around the room, lost in thought. Up oh, here they go. Some weird ass analogies are about to come. How is your LMB practice coming along? Have you memorized your dance routines? Oh, yes. Can you execute them flawlessly? Oh, uh, no, then not yet. I see. Uh, um. Uh, um, ma'am, you mind taking a look at my uh solo? Sure. Go ahead. Yes, ma'am. So Momo takes a stance in front of Ochimizu and then begins dancing as if her life depended on dude. Stop. <sighs> wrong, wrong, wrong. No, the feeling's not right at all. Wow, okay. Listen, there's an emotion to those steps. Imagine this. Alright, go ahead, give it to me. What am I imagining? approach a man whose life you just saved only for him to shoot you in the stomach blood gushes from the wound how the hell does that make any damn sense you fall to your knees clench your fists and roar in shock and disbelief what the hell is this <laughs> That's a casual reaction. What is this? Why am I shy? B blood from the gut? Uh, uh, how am I supposed to put that in my dance? That, yeah, that's a fair question. Back at the creepy place, we leave some almost son and Mr. Chimizu in the dressing room and move on. After a while, I realize that our surroundings have changed, something different from the dollhouse before. Everyone else knows it too, but we all take in the sight as we continue walking. In the end, it's Teddy who speaks up. What the... Whoa! Everything changed again! It's all fancy now, like a princess's castle! <laughs> it brings back fond memories of Yuki-chan. Oh, my heart's pounding out of my Hey, we don't we don't talk Teddy, about that. Less blabbing and more moving. We've got a long way to go and we want to get to the rendezvous point before Senpai's team. The change of scenery did bother me a little bit, but I don't have the time to waste. I found out when I contacted Senpai that their team has just saved Tamami. Oh, so okay, which means there are two left. We still need to save Tomoe and Nazumi. So this hey, is Nazumi. Kanji, there's something that I've been wondering about. Huh? 
What's up? Well, you know how shadows already existed in my world, right? So seeing them around in there is nothing special. But this place oh, is hey, connected guy. to my world. So how come there's tons of shadows here? Oh, that's because, uh, I don't know. Yep, that's because, yep, that's about well, right. Oh, hey, she's, uh... supposed to know about the shadow stuff. Actually, Teddy has a valid point. We've encountered quite a number of shadows so far. It'd be understandable if this was the TV world, because we know that to be the shadow's natural habitat. But in this world's case, if our current theory is that all the shadows thus far existed here to begin with, it seems doubtful at best. I didn't occur to me, but yeah, there's a lot we don't know about this world. Even assuming the voices made this place, where did all these weird shadows come hey, from? How's this? Maybe they just pop out of nowhere. That. That is a fair point. Oh, hey, Akubra. That is highly unlikely. Oh yeah, the WhatsApp she, uh, the WhatsApp uh, Shiza or Jack Frost. Wow, nice. What's the point? There were no signs of shadows reappearing in the path we took from the entrance. Otherwise, we wouldn't have left Samomo-san and Miso Chimizu back in the dressing room. Well, yeah, but that's for sure. I can't sense any shadows from the path we came. Also, we stayed in that room back there for a while, but I didn't feel any shadows show up or reappear nearby, so I don't think they'll keep coming out endlessly. I don't smell any shadows behind us either. Huh? Wait, Risei-chan, you can sniff out shadows without using a persona? No, I can't tell their smell. I sort of feel their presence somehow. Feel. Nothing specific like their exact location. Not only that, I can communicate without using my persona, up to a certain distance. Come to think of it, when we were dancing, you provided our musical accompaniment. Yeah. Like your persona wasn't even summoned. That's a bit strange. We playing Dialogue Simulator? Oh, yeah. Di welcome to Dialogue Simulator, where we in try to world, figure out uh, we can why people are dying. Is it you? And music. It's and you, isn't shadows, it? Right? Okay, it might be you. <laughs> Maybe the nature of this place makes it easier for our thoughts and feelings to reach others. I see makes a great degree of sense considering the culprit's objective. You can do all that? Damn, it's gonna be more and more like Teddy. What? Excuse me? Are you saying I'm round and fat? Mm. What? What's with all the Teddy Yeah, what's with all the Teddy hate? Handsome boy behind the fur, you know? Oh God, here comes the shadows. <laughs> Show. The right. It's still pointless. Yeah. Huh? There you are. Everyone, stay on guard. Do you hate me that much? You're so friendly with each other. Why do you refuse to fly bombs with us? Oh, and the doors are closed. Are the shadows gonna there's the shadows? The black mist swarms before us without any warning and morphs into a horde of shadows. Enough already. I ran out of patience for the voice. I started yelling into empty air. Yeah, whatever. What you have isn't a bond. It's just brainwashing. Being tied down like that? Forced to throw away your real self? I... Oh, that's not true. They are all here because they wanted a special bond with me. They did? <laughs> that's right. Can't you hear them? They want to connect with you, too. Yeah, connect my ass. At the word connect, the shadows grab the ribbons wrapped around them and hold them out towards us. They looked like they were beckoning us, inviting us to join them. It sends chills down my spine. Looks like we got no choice. I ain't gonna let you mess with my head. Now, who's gonna break down this? Hey, Nato, eyes up. What are you spacing out for? Think later. Oh, uh, yes. Who's Why gonna bust down? If you connect with us, you won't suffer or feel pain. Don't strain yourself so much. Now, let's become one. Oh god, here comes the shitty ass music again. <sighs> Quick, somebody the bust down! Again? The song gets louder and the shadows start dancing. The song still gives me shivers, but it doesn't affect me as much as before. Maybe it's because I refuse to give in. Naoto-kun, Kanji, and Teddy all stand their ground too. 
Then Kanji grins. Oh, it's Kanji. All right, you're on. This is all part of butting heads to understand each other. Kanji. Let's do this. We say music. We ain't gonna run. Watch my moves and think twice. Punch. All right, Kanji. Let's do this shit. Lay down the beat. <laughs> Let's go get it. All right, let's do this. What song I'm is this? Kill it. Time Remember, to make history. You can't just brute force your way through this. Dude, Kanji's powering up, man. Oh my God, it's so fast. Yeah. Oh, it's so fast. Oh, it's Rise! Not bad. Real V Ace defective place for solo dancing. How do I play this game? <laughs> Brilliant. Not bad. You did it, Kanji. I guess being that lanky has its advantages. <laughs> being that lengthy. <laughs> That was on easy? Wow, that's a kanji rating GB. What is it? Kanji rating out of 69. 69, next question. Whew. Looks like they got it. Move by kanji's powerful, or maybe it'd be better say kanji like dance. The shadows dissolve notes and like. No, it's totally fine, really. As long as he's doing this just for now, I have no problem with it at all. I mean, a star performer's got to have a bold personality. But it's Kanji case. I worry you might keep on dancing like that after we're done with the midnight stage. I only taught him the steps from the backup dancers, but he totally ditched everything and just danced however he liked. It's fine here, but if he did that at LMB, he'd steal the show for sure. I sigh, remembering that not the time to be worried about this. Oh god, that voice is back. How sad. I was hoping you'd let us be your friends this time. No. Screw you! Friends my ass! <laughs> Real friends accept each other. 
Even if you gotta go head to head sometimes. Kanji's right. Try all you want. We're gonna free every last one of the shadows you're controlling. <laughs> every last one? I don't think so. I have plenty of replacements ready and waiting. Okay. Because you poisoned them, they lost the precious bond that they so longed for. But that's fine with me. If they don't want my bond, then they can do whatever they please. Strange. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> exactly as I said. There are plenty of others who crave bonds. Can't you feel it? I'm trying to feel Many it. More are coming into this world, seeking that special connection. <laughs> Does that mean the shadows' numbers are increasing? But where are they coming from? Sorry, time's up. No more chatting. What? New Sony's performance is about to begin. <laughs> oh dear lord. Hey, wait, you punk! Hey, 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 hey. The voices fade away, ignoring Kaji's yelling until there's no trace of them. It's clear the voices left us behind. Uh, it got away again. How's <laughs> that voice's problem? Saying all that shit and then leaving every single time. It said Nozomi's performance was about to start. This isn't good. We need to hurry. Yes, the questions can come later. Let's move ahead. Great. As the surroundings completely change to match the castle like theme and see silhouette in front of us, I wonder around the lost kid. Oh, did we find her? I forget which one this Someone's is. over there. Alright, before we continue, I will be right back. Give me like 30 seconds. I'll be right back. I'm back. Anything happen? Did you do anything? Don't you dare cut my power again. You cut my power, I will cut you. <laughs> You'll throw me into a TV. Cutie readings are off the charts. I'm back from the back rooms. Yeah. Survived. Nozo chan. Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh. Risa, are you real? Nozomi, are you okay? What's you her? Anywhere? What, what's her spiel, huh? Uh, oh, oh, I'm fine. But where am I? Ooh, I can't believe this. Nozo-chan, the Prince Charming of Kanamine Kitchen, right in front of me. Prince Charming? She's a chick, Ted. What are you, blind? I don't know, Kaji. I... Man. You got a PS5? I do. Kanji can't help but butt in seeing Nozomi, Nozomi trembling like a little girl. Well, I can't blame him. People who don't know about Nozomi would probably react the same way Kanji did. Teddy, wait. 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 That's a dude. Is that a dude? Hey, cut! Oh, poor innocent Kanji. You just don't get it, do you? Nozo-chan's big appeal is the forbidden charm of being a handsome boy when she's actually a girl. A, a girl pretending to be a boy? Hey, 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 wait a minute. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Because they're like... Yeah. No, Nozomi is different from Naoto-kun. It's pretty much a character the agency cooked up for her role in the group. She's really shy. I mean, she gets nervous just talking about herself. First Momo-chan, and now Nozo-chan too? I've suffered a critical hit to my hopes and dreams. The showbiz world really is a cruel place. So it's not a dude. Wait in showbiz, Ted. Anyhow, we're glad that you're safe. Let's move to a safe location. 
and just so we're clear, I'm hardly any good at talking about myself either. Uh, that was uncalled for, wasn't it? My apologies. My apologies. Although no one asked. <laughs> Naruto kun suddenly adds a hasty personal comment and awkwardly falls silent. Really, Naruto kun why are you competing against Nozomi? Keep your guard up. Kanji-kun, cover Nozomi-san. Got it. The keep shaking on Kuroobi and then sudden voice putting everyone on guard. Naruto-kun calmly directs us and Kanji moves closer to Nozomi, ready to protect her. <laughs> Whatever you're thinking of doing, it's no use. Our bond is stronger than anything. Yeah, but Kanji's bond is stronger than yours. Listen, Nozomi. You want a bond too, don't you? A bond with people who really understand you. A bond? <laughs> but... Shut the hell up! Let her think for herself, damn it! Stop trying to decide things for her! Stay out of her business! It's for her own good. Huh? Huh? Nozomi doesn't need to think. All she has to do is accept us. It's pointless to worry and suffer. What? After all, there was never a need for anyone other than the Nozomi everyone wants. Unbelievable. The voice doesn't care at all about Nozomi's feelings. The way it speaks so matter-of-factly... What? What kind of crazy talk is that? This person is crazy. How ludicrous. It claims to be doing this for Nozomi-san's sake, when in fact it's ignoring her will and forcing its own thoughts onto her. It That's a bit mean. never build a relationship in that way. You just don't get it, do you? But I know I'm right. Look! This crowd is here just for Nozomi. How can she not be happy? Oh god, now we're gonna have to we're gonna have to bust down again. Alright, who's got this one? Lila, is it Teddy? By now I know what's coming next. As I thought the black mist closes in and blah blah blah. Them again? Yikes! There's even more than last time. This doesn't make any sense. Where did it get all these shadows from? Didn't I tell you? There are plenty of others who crave bonds. You really should accept us too, you know? And here comes the shitty song. Listen, who's gonna bust down? We need to know. Damn it. Still gives me the creeps. I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. This is one song I refuse to dance to. Nachan's right. I'd rather be dancing freestyle to the funky groove, sharing the excitement with everyone. You go, Ted. Yeah, so what if people want you to be a certain way? That doesn't make it right for them to stop out your true feelings. They might not understand at first, but don't let that stop you from expressing yourself. Correct on all counts. Please stand back. Oh. I shall handle this. Nato's got this one. Nachan's all revved up. Hey, what about my turn? Okay, Nato-kun. You're all queued up, so let him have it. If you're afraid of being hurt, you can never reach out to anyone. No one will understand you. How true it is. I could have used that lesson myself not long ago. Now, let the music play. I wonder what song she's gonna dance to. I actually have no clue. Um. Get ready to dance. What is it? The basics are a crucial aspect of any discipline. I'm counting on you, but you're back into it. Ah, I remember now. I could do this. Good. 
I could do this. Good. There. All right, ready when you are. I could do this. I missed that one. Not bad. Not bad. Brilliant. It's an okay remix of Heaven, but it's not Heaven. Vindicated by such results. Uh, you, you're dancing. It was really, really great. <laughs> It was really, really great. <laughs> and just like that, they all ascend to a heaven. It's okay, but it's not heaven. Yeah, heaven has a certain... There's a certain thing to it that you just can't remix. I did it. I've still got a ways to go, but I managed to make them understand. Wow. She's cool. She's cool. Why'd they change it to a yeah. violin? I have... Wait, who's the piano? Someone's a piano. I don't remember. That's it! I'm fed up with all your crap! What's your problem anyway? If you've got something to say, then come out and say it to my face. <laughs> Nalto? Rins the piano? Yep, sorry, my bad. What? You call all that getting along? You were anything but nice. Oh, but I want you to be happy now, as a friend. No one gets hurt. Everyone is happy. That's what this world is about. Uh-huh. We've been saying no. It ain't. How <laughs> the hell do you think we'd accept you without even seeing your face? That is true. If you really want to be friends with us, then get out of here right now. <laughs> my, my. What am I to do? Nozomi, do you think you can stand face to face and talk with them? Huh? No, no way. What? Wait, what? Wait, why, why not? We're right here. We're talking face to face. Surprisingly, by Nuz uh, Nozomi's sudden outcry, we all turn towards her. No way. What the? Nozomi, what are you saying? Right? It's okay. If you push yourself, you'll just end up getting hurt. Nozomi san, please calm down. Don't fall for its trap. Uh, but, but... There is no way you are that shy. <laughs> I'd appreciate 
appreciated if you didn't bully Nozomi. She has a big performance coming up. Listen, as much as I hearing we all gather around Nozomi to defend her, that's right. It's just like when Samoma was taken. We won't let you have her. You caught us by surprise last time, but now we're ready. What a wasted effort. So, Nozomi. Damn it. Hey, you! Don't listen to a damn word it says! Huh? Wh why These people want you to show them the real you. <laughs> what a horrible thing to ask. Don't you agree? If you do as they say, you'll have to go through a lot of pain and suffering. Are you up for that? Um... No, I'm... Th that's too much. I can't... Oh God! The moment Nozomi lets out a bitter cry, ribbons whip, whip her towards her, and whatever got her in there. We bolt, trying to put ourselves between her and the ribbons, and block the way. But me, Nato, Teddy, and even Kanji knocked back by the thin ribbon, like waiting nothing at all. Damn it! Kanji-kun! Oh my God! He's slapped away. Protect Nozomi! <laughs> and there she goes. I'm a bit concerned. Uh, before I can even get back on my feet, Nozomi is pulled away, tangled in the coiled ribbon. All the remain remains is silence. No, I couldn't protect Nozo-chan. Damn. This is exactly what we wanted to prevent. Just like that, yeah. The 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 uh, the ribbons just. It seems yank. those ribbons are impervious to any use of force. Come on, guys. We've got no time to mope around. We'll go after Nozomi as soon as we're ready. We never give up. <laughs> right. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> You're turning out to be a rather strict leader, much more so than you, Senpai. I'm with you, of course. Don't forget, Teddy. I learned from you guys what it means to have an enduring soul. Nothing could beat me. That's a fair. That's a fair move in Persona. All right, we're saving Nozomi. We Who's controlling the ribbons? I have no clue. Tell you. I actually have no clue. I know nothing about this game. Well, I know a little bit, but the first few scenes. That's it. Is it just take the girl? I get. Whoa. What's this? A stage? It's like a musical. This looks. Wait, why does this is? I am getting some Yukiko vibes right here. Our chase after Nozomi leads us to some place that's a castle-themed theater stage. I don't need to search for Nozomi's in reading. Kanji points forward, calling out. Hey, Arjuri. look over there! That's Nozomi, right? N no, that's not how I. Don't say it. You're not me. Well, there we go. I'm surprised you're putting up a fight, but I'm afraid you don't have a choice. Or are you willing to show everyone how you really are? How you really are? That's that's why I I've been trying to talk to people and is that right? But doing so I'm a shadow. Majima. Wait, the Majima. You're in the grand from Yakuza Zero. You just see Majima walking. Oh shit. <laughs> Who are you? How do you know? You've always been like that, huh? Afraid of people's gazes, afraid of people's words, afraid of people. Why hurt yourself? It's not necessary, Nozomi. If you just play your part, everyone will adore you. There's no need for the real you. Nobody wants her. But who's the real? You're just really shy, ain't you? We rush to her side, but Nozomi, Nozomi only looks at us with fear in her eyes. No, just like what happened to Shimo, uh, Shimobo. Nozomi is practically given in to the voice. <laughs> Come on, Nozomi. You get nothing Where's Ponytail Bajima and his drip tux? That is true. <laughs> Niski's dancing next? They just start doing Friday night. 
It's so easy for you to interact with people when you're that Nozomi. Am I wrong? Here, listen to everyone. Oh God, listen to everyone. No, I'd rather die. Why do you Nozomi care? Nozomi has an unusual appeal. She's a cute girl with the attitude and dependability of a cool guy. Dude, isn't that every guy's dream girl? Yeah, these voices again. Are these Nozomi-san's fans? You know, the best part about the whole Prince Charming thing is that she isn't self-conscious at all. It takes a lot of guts to be that self-assured. Even if people laugh at her, she's strong enough to ignore it. I... I'm not strong at all. I... I can't do it. See? It's the confident, uninhibited Prince Nozomi that everybody wants. As long as you cling to the real you, life will be filled with pain, sadness, and fear. No. No, I... I don't want that. Oh, goddamn, she got tangled up. Oh. This is a problem. Suspended above the stage with the ribbons lining her body, the zombie glances towards us with sorrow in her eyes. We try our best to get her, but the ribbons bar the way. Hey, you! Don't give up, damn it! Nozomi, no! I'm scared. All right, who's boogieing? Hurts. Yeah! Th this is the same as Momo-chan. How could we let this happen again? <laughs> Oh, oh, it turned into a painting. <laughs> yes, this is how it should have always been. There's no point in life if nobody cares about you, is there? Of course it's better for what? everyone to accept and desire you. Moderat- No! It's a moderate situation. This is the greatest just mirror it and truth it and get it over with. Uh, Alright, who's busted down? Is it gonna be me or is it gonna be Teddy? You each year suddenly roar behind us. I don't need to turn around, it gotta be another audience of shadows. I stand facing towards the monster and swallows them. That's not right, Nozomi. It doesn't matter if people want you or not. The real you is never worthless. We idols aren't dolls. It's our job to work hard so those who see and hear us will accept us. Listen to Risa, you idiot. <laughs> Greatest feeling. You know damn well you're lying to yourself. Yeah. After I met Sensei, I got unsure about who I was. So I had to think and think real hard. And now I'm the adorable bear I am today. That is true. It hurt a lot. And I felt miserable. But because of all that... I know just how important my actual self is. So don't say things like there's no point in your life. I can't bear to hear that. Watch me, Nozomi. I'm going to prove it to you right now. Oh. We don't have to lose our identity to be idols. But the same same for me, too. I was scared and hurt anxious enough that I ran away a bit of the stage. But then I just then I met you, Senpai, and everyone. So support me, and I realized that I couldn't lie to my passion. Now it's my turn to show. Oh, so Reese's what? dancing. Risei-chan's taking the stage. <laughs> Give it up, Ted. Better let the pro handle this. Oh, yeah, let the pro the handle this. Time is ripe for our star performer. I leave this to you, Risei-san. All right. I know I can do this. I've Wait. done everything I could to prepare for my comeback. There's no screwing up now. What song is she going to do? Here we go. A special sneak preview of Reset's biggest show ever. Biggest show. All right, let's see what we're dealing with. Let's see what song you're going to be playing. Okay, here we go. Nozomi, just hold on. I'm coming to help. Let's stay focused. I did it! Yeah, please, let me your power. I don't remember this song, but I might be. Harry, 
very nice. Yeah, like that! All right, perfect. We're getting through. Oh, you look cool no matter what you do, Nato-kun. Whoa, amazing! Nato-kun, that was sexy. You finished with style. Bro, who put Skrillex on the mic? Not bad. Wait, what does her persona do? The harp. I guess that makes sense. Reset Boogie to JB intense focus right now. Dude, I, man, I was more just like. I've never heard that song before. Have I? I don't remember that song existing. Hyper Adachi focus. Cabbage focus. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this girl's problems is. Something blew up. Hey, how are you? I thought I nailed it, but I can't say I'm 100% confident. I pray in my heart as I run to Nozomi, Nozomi freed from the monster standing in the stage. Nozomi! Nozomi-san! Uh, I ran away. Again. Why am I always like this? Are Chia and Yo Yusuke dead? No, no, no. They're just, uh... I don't know what they're doing. Doing something, I don't know. Nozo-chan! It's okay. You got what we were trying to tell you. That's all that matters. I feel a rush of relief at Nozomi's words, knowing that I got through to make her... To make... Makes me feel so happy. And to be honest, I'm touched. What I did. What I believed in wasn't wrong. But I can't let that show... Right now. Instead, I look at Nozomi and give her the biggest smile. Yeah, no feeling down. I'm so glad you're safe. What, really? I'm... Horrible at talking to people. I'm always like this when I'm out of character. That's how you are, and I think it's perfectly fine. You should be proud of it and tell everyone. Okay, I'll try. I Man, even bugs are louder than her. Are you sure she's gonna be okay? Even <laughs> Kaji, calm down. Even bugs are louder than her. Huh? What? You're mean, scary. Yes! Somebody pointed it out! What was that? Oh, whoa, whoa, Kaji, 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 Kaji! Be nice to Nozomi! What was that, punk? <laughs> Sorry! That's right, Kanji-kun. 
Can't you see she's trying to change? What? Wait, why am I being? No excuses. Nozomi's trying her best, so work with her. Oh, fine, whatever. Just shut up. So, uh, well. Well? Keep at it, all right? I'm rooting for you. Yeah. Oh, she liked that. Hearing that from Ganji, Nozomi's face lightens up. Wow, she makes, she can make a face like that? If she always has that look, I'm sure she'll get tons of fans. And then, for some reason, Nozomi trots over to Kanji and looks straight in his eyes. I'll do my best. Thank you. Stop looking at me like that. So you're happy. I get it. That's enough, damn it. Kanji pr prickled reaction, his clumsy way of hiding embarrassment. Immediate intimidates her again. She goes quiet, eyes meeting mine. Oh, Kanji, you can't talk to Nozomi like that. Scary again. <laughs> No, 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 Nozo-chan, let me give you a lecture on how a guy's heart works. Kanji is just embarrassed, that's all. It's hard to see past his crude demeanor, but he really does accept you. So there's absolutely no reason to be scared of him. Yeah. That's right. Kanji's pretty bad at expressing his feelings, too. <laughs> He's such a handful. What? J -j shut up, you two! And then, you like me? What? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> you, you're embarrassed, right? So, I wondered if I was your type, and I. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Why are you asking, Kanji? I don't know. Wait, how old are you? You look like you're 19. Well, I mean, Kanji looks. Yeah, never mind. That was beyond jumping to conclusions. I'm not sure how to process this. Really is something else when it comes to talking. That was a. Hey, stop gawking and help me out. And you? The hell was that scary at the end? She's sense. 14? No way. She's 14. Well, isn't Kanji like 15, 16? I think something like that. Ah, oh, Nozomi. You've been poisoned as well. It's that voice. The center interruption puts an end to our cheery mood. You're still here? I won't forgive you for putting Nozo-chan through all this. <laughs> There's no need to get so worked up. If you're not interested in a bond with us, that's fine. Do whatever you like. Huh? Okay. Ugh, that punk just up and left again. <laughs> the door. Whoa. Yeah, he's 15, but he looks like he's 26. I know, that's why, uh, man, Atlas Games. It's like earlier with Sumomo. Does this connect to a dressing room, too? I say we should enter. I see no signs of shadows in the vicinity. All right, and... Oh, perfect. Teddy's walk cycle. We go through the door, Kanji leading the way, just like we thought it opens to another dressing room place. No shadows detected. Who knows why, but these dressing rooms seem to be the only safe place in this okay, world. Okay, I'm sure now. This place has no trace of shadows, just like before. I don't hear that creepy song, either. I wonder why these rooms are so special. Huh. So far, this door's been showing up every time we save a girl. Could they have been deliberately hidden from us until then? Or was there some other reason we were unable to detect them? Man, if I, I don't know. Possibility is that Sumomo san and Nozomi san's release caused the doors to come into existence somehow. Uh, you mind putting all that in simpler words? What do you mean, some other and somehow? This if I knew, then I wouldn't be having trouble working out the details. I can't say for sure on, at this come point. Come on, Con Kanji. It's not that hard to understand. As soon as Naoto kun re replies, I remember something. Seems like everyone else reached the same conclusion. We all glanced towards the mirror and at the makeup station. What is this? Another note. All right, let's read it. You got this one, Nato? Yet another similarity with Samomo-san's case. I want a bond. I want to connect their hearts with mine. But it's too late. There's nothing I can do now. I changed the lyrics to hide everything. I'm nothing but a liar. I should end it all. 
God, just listening to it is putting my stomach in knots. What? Why is he more last time? Something don't smell right with this. Kanji kun have you noticed? Huh? What? The person who wrote these notes. Well, we've yet to confirm that this individual is human. Now, Chan, what did you find? In simple, bear friendly oh, hey, terms, Wonk. poor Favor. I hit wait. I uh, late at this time to see some poor artist. To see some poor artist drawing my content of this particular note. Bear. Bond. Connect. Do these sound familiar to you? Yeah, it sounds like the person back there. Wait, you don't mean? We've been hearing those words every t every time and time again ever since we came to this world. The one who kept mentioning bonds and connecting was that voice. All that stuff that voice has been saying. Indeed, the content of this note matches up quite neatly to that voice's words. Are you telling me that's who wrote these notes? I have no definitive proof. That actually would but make it sense. Certainly seems to be a possibility. Wait, but how? And a trending with with clapped hands. Uh. Ochimizu? Wow, Ochi. Ochi? No, never mind. I'm glad to see you. Ochi? Me as well. Which means that all four idols are now safe. I'm very grateful. Senpai and the others finished up a long time ago, huh? <laughs> Guess we still ain't on their level. Um. Excuse me, Miss Ochimizu. Are you saying that you went to check on Senpai's group before you came here? Yes, that's correct. That's correct, my ass. We told you to stay in that room, and you said understood. More importantly, Ochi, is Momo-chan okay all by herself? Sumomo is fine. Nothing happened in that room after you left, so I'm sure it's safe. She looked much better. Oh, uh, they're gonna get caught I again. I was more worried that you might be in a bind again. So, were you arguing whether to leave Nozomi here and move on, or stay with her? Um, uh, no, we were more talking about, uh, uh you know, I see. that you letter. A valid point, frankly. It would be great if someone watched over Nozomi-san. That'd allow us to move on without worries. Then that's that. Everything clear, Nozomi. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Well, if you're done, why are you wasting your time here standing around? I don't know what's going on, but the sooner this idiocy ends, the better. This idi idiocy? All right. The constant coldness in her attitude really ticks me off. What's with her? The, there was a nicer way of saying something like that, you know? I agree. It's not like we got involved in this because we wanted to anyway. Please stay here with Nozomi. We'll go put an end to this. Fine. I'm counting on you, Risekuji. I'm counting on you. Ugh. What's with her attitude? She really gets on my nerves. Well, there's nothing for it. This is hardly an ideal situation for her either. We're having her do what she can to help. Please. Um, is Ochi always like that? I mean, not just her acting frosty, but frosty. she's in a strange world, and she doesn't think twice about wandering around. She's too fearless. That is true. She doesn't fearless, think twice. More like reckless. She just looks down on everyone and says whatever she wants. If we hadn't come, she would have been in danger too for crying out loud. That is. I don't know about that. I thought the shadows didn't attack her. Yet. Yeah, that's now that strange. You mention it. We were thrown off by her boldness, but. If you think about it, that is quite strange. Yeah, why the shadows won't there attack must be her? Must some reason that the shadows don't attack her. Because they're not idols, maybe. I look at Alto Kun and the others are discussing something, but I'm way too irritated with Miss Ochimizu to care. I know I'm losing my goal, and honestly, I, I, I think I know the 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 reason. After I decided to return to showbiz, I learned that Konami's kitchen producer was the infamous Miss Ochimizu. Maybe without realizing the pressure scared me. I'm not totally sure, but that's got to be at least part of it. Why should so. I care? If she doesn't get attacked, then good for her. Once we meet up with Senpai, let's hurry and get out of this stupid place. Yes, please. <sighs> Can you guys go ahead and prepare to leave while I talk to Senpai? I'll be right back. This isn't good. She's completely lost her cool. I believe it'd be best if we supported her. I kind of see where she's coming from, though. Yeah. Well, guess we'll back her up a bit. Times like this are when friends come in handy. You can lean on me, Rise-chan. Nice. Hey, trophy. 
Yay. After Risei's team left the dressing room, Nozomi soon stands completely still next to Achimi. Nozomi No, what the? Alright, alright. What are they gonna discuss now? Still dealing with that social anxiety? Huh? Uh, oh. Uh, yes. Yes, ma'am. I... I... Uh, I'm working on it. I see. Great talk. An awkward silence lingers between Ojimizu's severe expression and Nozomi's, <laughs> Nozomi's... Can you perform at the festival? I... I... I'll... I can. I'll do it. I see. Um... If, if you don't mind, please check my, my LMB dance. Sure, go on. Chimizu stands in front of a, uh, Chimizu, god dang. Nozomi stands in front of a Chimizu and begins dancing with One, all her mind. two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, that isn't it. All right. You're not getting it at all. What expression are you going to use Nozomi, now? You need to pour emotion into that final pose. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like Atlas is holding her voice actor at gunpoint. Risking his life to prove his love. All right, what's the? He leaps into a busy street as the woman, seized by the memories of her dead fiance, watches in terror. A truck screeches, stopping inches away from him. He slowly turns to the woman and cries out, "I will not die." I don't understand that, that at all. Uh, Could that, you explain? I, I'm sorry. I, uh, yeah, that's a bit strange. I do say so myself. Huh. Even after leaving the dressing room, we can't shake, just can't shake my anger. I know I'm being childish, but that doesn't mean I can't just shake it off. Oh, makes me so mad. Stupid Miss Ochimizu. Risei-san, please calm down. Uh-huh, that's right. And don't forget, I'm always on your side. Whenever it gets tough, you can jump into my arms and cry as much as you need to. My fur is yours. Yeah, good to know. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, guys. I'll get back on track. Well, now that we've saved Sumomo and Nozomi, let's go and meet up with Senpai and the others. Yay! They didn't encounter any major problems either. That's very good news. Shall we head for the rendezvous point? Th Yay, to the ro- what? We nodded each other and started walking forward when we noticed Kanji scrunching up his face in effort and cocking his head. Well, what's going on? Kanji-kun, what's wrong? Is there a problem? Nah, just thinking about something. You know how that rumor talks about the other side? That's here, yeah? Do you mean the Love Meets Bonds festival rumor? Let me see. When you look at the website at midnight, an unfamiliar video plays. And in that video, you can see a dead idol dancing. And anyone who watches that video is taken to the other side, never to awaken again. Mm -hmm. Now, back to your question. From what we've experienced, yes, we believe that we're on the other side. Yes. Oh, we haven't run into much here. Just the idols we saved, that damn voice, and those weird-ass ribbon shadows. But the chumps who watch the video are taken here, right? Then, where the hell are they? Shouldn't we be saving them too? You've got it wrong, Kanji. Those people are still in our world, never to awaken again. From what I've gathered, oh. the victims are left in a comatose state. I came across no reports of missing persons. There was an eyewitness account of a victim being pulled by something. But he was in a coma, just like... No, wait. You're right. It is strange. Now, John? Wait, what? what? Kanji's question seems simple, but as she replies, Altokud suddenly interrupts herself and goes quiet. I could feel the tension in the air. Did Kanji actually point out something serious? Say san do you remember the first time we came here? Huh? Um, yeah. That video in the rumor actually popped up. Then those ribbons ensnared us, pulling us into this world. Yes. Unlike the other victims... We didn't fall into a coma. Yeah, that's true. The next victims were the idols of Kanamine Kitchen. They apparently went missing, and we eventually found them all here. Yes. None of them fell into a coma, and neither did we. Just like our first time. Missed what? Are any of you familiar with the condition known as apathy syndrome? Whoa! <laughs> hey, 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 hey! 
Hey, uh, I am quite knowing of uh, the apathy syndrome. It happened a while back at a little place called, um, I forget its name, but it has island in the name. It appeared a few years ago around Tatsumi Port Island. <laughs> Victims lost their sense of self, unable to even speak. What? I was researching it recently for the sake of another case. What? It seems the symptoms of apathy syndrome were, in actuality, the side effects of shadows leaving the human body. Shadows leaving? Yes. As we're all aware from personal experience, shadows in our hearts are closely linked. That's crazy. We came to face and accept our shadows, thus attaining the power of persona. But what about an average person? What would happen if their shadow was forcibly removed from them? Uh, apathy syndrome. Wouldn't they get that apathy syndrome? There seem to be some differences between the Tatsumi Port Island incident and this one. Now, this is merely a theory, but regarding the victims of this case, I believe their comas were induced by someone removing their shadows by force. Hence the more acute symptoms. So you're telling me we gotta go into a tower with 300 levels in order to solve this case. All right, let's go do it. I was mistaken. I assumed there would be some degree of discrepancy between the rumor and the facts. But in truth, the rumor was accurate. We were the outliers, the special cases. Most likely, our control over our shadows was what kept us from falling victim. W wait, then what about those kitchen girls? Yeah. They were acting normal in here like us. They would also be considered special cases. Recall what that voice said. Both Sumomu-san and Nozomi-san were shocked when that voice brought up their most private information. Yes. It would be natural to think that the voice knew them from the start and pulled them in here deliberately. In addition, when Risei-san, Senpai, and I were pulled in here, it was around midnight. But for them, it must have happened earlier, between our initial meeting and the time they were reported missing. Yes. Meaning their case does not meet the rumor's condition of being pulled in at midnight. But, but how come they're so special? That would be because they are the main guests of this midnight stage. That is true. Main guests? That voice called this place the midnight stage, did it not? Yes. Naturally, a stage exists for the sake of the performer using it. And the four members of Konami Kitchen were summoned here for a purpose. To fill the role of performers what for about the stages. What about Konami? Risei-san, I suspect the same was true for you. What? I said we were pulled in around midnight, but that and watching the video at that time were merely coincidence. The fact that stages were ready for both you and the idols of Konami Kitchen is proof itself. Uh, hold on a sec! Wait. So does that mean this world was made just for Risei-chan and Konami Kitchen? That's and if they're the performers, are the shadows the audience? Where did those guys come from, though? That is exactly. true. Exactly. Do you recall how that voice talked about shadows coming to this world looking for bonds? And I'm sure we all wondered why we seem to be able to communicate our feelings to these shadows. Yeah. There is but one explanation to it all. Suppose that, like the times we each faced our own shadows, these shadows, too, are entities which share a close connection with the human heart. Uh, hey. You trying to say that they're... There? shadows of people who saw the video on the LMB site and fell into a coma so that's what it means to get taken oh however judging from the their apathy syndrome the remained conscious we can conclude there is some method to the selection of those that were taken here hmm. now I see why those shadows felt different from the ones I know just as I recovering from having a bomb having a bomb like that dropped on us even though it puts a closer to the truth behind this case I feel a sudden dread alarm Alarm bells going off in my head. The LMB site is still up on the web for anyone to access. If everyone who sees it has their shadow ripped out and thrown into the world. Guys, this is not good. As long as there are people who try that rumor out, this world will keep being flooded with their shadows. That means. Ah! What is this? What's going on? Whoa! Everything's all shaky! We should probably get out of here. Let's hurry. Something might have happened. We need to join Senpai and the others. Fa I gotta get out of here.
Now we play as Konami? <laughs> Wait, what? There's not, there's not. We strive off twice, and then we go up here. Fair. Yeah, I want to do, I want to do a, I want to do a, do something. We've brought with us even more unbelievable new goods at rock bottom prices. All for you, dear viewers. Thank Tanaka's you. Tanaka's amazing commodities always delivers irresistible items at unbeatable prices. Our word is as good as gold. Here's yeah. what you'd better buy from us this time. Brothers, brothers, even sisters, we guarantee that every member of your family will be 100% satisfied. They're just seeing what outfits they got. And consistently, so now's the time to buy. Muster up some backbone and place the time has come to show our new items. Oh, you can actually brothers, just hang on. Brothers, even sisters, we get oh, here comes a few new items. The orders are pouring in. Made outfit and uh, oh, that's your summer outfit. Cooking apron. Oh yeah. Things for you still to buy. So why not take this chance to pick up one of everything? Take a very good look. You have no idea what good the time has come to show our new items. The orders are pouring in. Those who manage to snag it have my congratulations. There we go. Now we got that. We got the Jojima outfit. Why not take this chance to pick up one of everything? Is everyone watching closely? I want the hard boiled look. I don't know how to get it. I got the Jojima outfit. Okay. I think I'm going to end the stream here. Because, um,. It's a good place to stop because we can start whatever the hell happened to Konami because I forgot she got pulled in. Pulled in or whatever. I don't know what happened. Two hours. Yeah, I was going to start at uh, my normal time, but I didn't. But I need to. I have some stuff I need to do later on today. Not later on today, but around six. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, next stream will be next week on uh, Monday. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on 